Hey guys, Unicorn Pandu here. Welcome back to another video. So, Chantal went live since getting Julia, her new cat, and it's called OMG Let's Bees. Let me make sure you guys see that. Okay, OMG Let's Bees. So, um, a few things before we get started. Number one, anything to do with the cat, I am going to be cutting out, unless if there's something worth either directly with the cat being involved i will keep that in however if the cat is happens to be in the background or something when she's talking about something important i can do a little something like this So that way we do not feature poor Julia uh, at all, or as, as minimum as I can, because I recently upgraded my editing software, and that includes motion tracking, so thank god. Um, number two, and our goal looks rough, like I think this is probably the worst that she's looked in a good while. I, th I thought it was just like the thumbnail for the video, like maybe she took the thumbnail without the filters and then is going live with the filters. No, this is what she looks like uh, in the live stream too. So with that being said, oh and also before I forget again, uh, there's one part that that made me uh, mention that thing about if there was anything to do with the cat directly about this part where like she's manhandling this cat and this cat looks mortified and i oh my god my heart breaks for that poor cat julia girl girl i'm sorry oh god i guess let's go ahead and get this over with <laughs> where's my filters Oh, but girl, remember, <laughs> like, not even 10 seconds in, I'm already having something snazzy to say. Uh, I thought, you know, that one side-by-side, -side, hold on, girl, yeah, I thought this, on the left here is what you look like without filters. Who's this? What? Uh, that's not the same person. <laughs> oh, and she got Hannah on her hands, if you didn't see. Okay, we're all cut up, yay. Here. Oh my gosh. You blow him wherever he may go. How many times have I had to keep this in? How many times have I skipped forward and nothing so far has happened? <laughs> the content room needs to be a few oct a few uh, degrees lower. Okay, nice. Yeah, thanks. And he's here. Wonderful. Woo. That's perfect. Thanks for making me comfortable, my sweet love. You're welcome, honey. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. searched Amber on YouTube during the Amber and Johnny trial. Amber and came up. No way. Oh. Hi, Bezos. <laughs> <laughs> you know how I said that my editing software can do motion detecting, right? What if we did something like much better? Okay, great. <laughs> Oh my god, doesn't he look like 20 years younger? <laughs> Surprise. No, I actually, sorry for stopping again, but no, he still looks like he's aged a decade. And we're supposed to be around the same age. He he looks like he's like 35, 37, around your age, girl. And now I'm, I'm also not age shaming anybody. If anyone happens to be around that age, older, younger, whatever it is, it's just if you compare him to when she first met him versus now, he's aged a decade within like less than a year. It's the, one of the most bizarre things I've ever witnessed. We can really see your lip mouth. <laughs> no more beard hair. <laughs> You're still my handsomest man. Handsomest man. We no. met each other. This is like. The look he had. No, actually. <laughs> sorry for pausing again, but no, this is not what you look like at all, Slaw. Hold on. Girl, trying to find a picture of Slaw before, you know, when you guys first met. Girl, who is this? This is a, this is you without makeup. You're all, all natural. Girl, who's that? Okay, no, this is what Slaw looked like when you guys first met. This, this video was six months ago. 
So compare that to that. What happened? This one called uh, the summer style. <laughs> You're so no, cute. It's too hot. Yeah, it's too hot for all the facial hair, right? Mm. Does it make a difference? Yes. Yes. <laughs> He's too handsome. Careful, Chantal. He's not going anywhere. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. I forgot that this happens, too. I also saw this on Twitter. Um, if you could say like that, that'd be great. <laughs> Thanks. Spooky, huh? <laughs> no. Best improvement I've seen so far on this channel. I like it. Thanks, baby. <laughs> is, is this an anarchy mask? Eh? <laughs> what do you guys think? Creepy? No, best improvement I've seen so far. Keep it, please. Spooky. Looks good with your hair. Look dark and handsome. What's <laughs> 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 Yeah, absolutely not. Besides The Shining, which are both Cooper movies, by the way. Okay, which lighting makes me look nicer, the other one? I think this one. Wait, check, try the other one again? I love you, honey. <laughs> I love you too, mask. <laughs> <laughs> Pinch. <laughs> this one or this one? Yeah, this one. The other one reminds me of, of a ba my basement when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> we had this creepy basement. It had a weird lighting like that. Okay, let me catch up here. Catch up on my knees. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my lord. <laughs> oh god help me. Anyways, oops, my finger slipped. Sorry guys. Such a shame. Yeah. You left your phone here? No. In the bedroom maybe? No, yes, yes ma'am. Um, are you going to address all the fires in your home country? Um, what? The fires. There's fires in Canada right now. Oh really? Yeah. In Where? Quebec. Quebec area, I think, eh? Um, like yeah. In specific uh, area or what? Yeah, I have to look it up. I'm not really sure. Like I know in Quebec region, but was like I fires don't from. That there is fine, I think. Yeah, I don't know like how severe it is, but there's like it's causing a lot of smog, like in the U.S. as well. It's like going everywhere. Is all that I know. Michelle, they would be safe. Yeah, thanks for the super chat. Um, are they gonna start blaming me for the wildfires? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, want to hold a vigil or what? You like the trim? Uh, well, hold a bit. For the people that died, I would sure hope so. It's awful if, if there's any tragedy so far. I, I haven't kept up with the fires because I'm in Florida. I'm absolutely nowhere near the north or Canada at all. If anything, I'm <laughs> complete. I'm laughing because I'm uncomfortable. I'm nowhere near Canada or you know New York, which I've uh, I've heard that the fire that the smoke, sorry, is really really bad, but. Yeah, I would sure hope that people would want to hold a vigil for people that's either not here with us or has suffered, lost things. That it's it's awful, Chantal. Why why are you trying to make this snarky? <laughs> Whether you like it or not, girl, that's where you're from. You were from Canada. That might not be your province, but that's that's your home country. Come on. So has the hair, yeah. The beard trim, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Ali L. Welcome to put your fees in ready shit fees. Um, what in the kinky's going on? Okay, Rita Roo, what kind of bunch of bees and Rudy bees? <laughs> I'm really behind. Basic, basic. It was smoky in Toronto. The air is bad, really. Well, I heard that it's bad, like the sm the the smoke or whatever. But yeah, Eyes Wide Shut. That reminds me of Andre Murray. That was like one of my favoriteest movies. Favoriteest movies ever. I love it. This is a weird hijab style. It was just like... I had to get ready fast, <clears throat> so I'm in the spare room right now. Hi, Ali L. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> I know I haven't been going live really, but oh my gosh, there's so much going on in our lives, and the new pe the pets are keeping me really busy. I have like a whole routine, like. Yeah, someone mentioned that I I don't remember where. I'm so sorry, but someone mentioned that the pets are keeping you busy yet like hamsters and cats are literally some of the most passive pets because they, they primarily take care of themselves like they're very low maintenance as far as like needing to keep up with them 
I'm I'm very confused what she means by that. I don't know how people do it with kids. Like, I think I would die. Like, I don't know if it's just, like, mentally, I'm just not able to cope with, like, too many responsibilities. Because, like, taking care of the home and then taking care of, like, husband, taking care of, he takes care of me too, but you know what I mean? And then, like, Howie, I have to spend time with Howie in a room by himself. He's He's in a room by himself now. And the cat's in her room right now with her, like, food and water because we don't smoke with the pets, like, you know, at all. So, um, so then I have to, like, get up and, like, spend some time with Howie, give him his vegetables. Okay, well, <laughs> well, I found the problem. Chantal had to get up. That That's the most devastating news of this entire situation is the fact that she had to stand up. <laughs> Let him run around. Kiss him a thousand times. And then Julia wakes up. <laughs> Julia? Yeah, welcome back, guys. Sorry I'm poor. That's okay. It's going to Wisconsin? Julia, cats are good at sneaking. I swear, I swear. She snuck in the room when I was, like, coming in to see Howie. I didn't even know she was right behind me. So, she came in. And she kind of just like, just stared at him. But I think she, I don't know. She did one thing kind of weird, like once, but it never happened again, so I'm okay with it. Also, why why are you admitting this? Why are you admitting the false outrage? That's why, because her views, especially since this whole entire Julia situation, her, her views have been really, really not that great, I've noticed. So, <laughs> good job. Um, yeah, but why, why, why would you willingly admit that your cat was in the same room as your hamster with, like, not being in the cage and out in the open? She could have quite easily um, unalived him within a few seconds if she really wanted to. That's... Well, I didn't even realize... Okay, well, it's your responsibility as a pet owner to make sure and, you know, double-check, you know, the bare minimum here, to make sure that your cat isn't directly behind you before you go into a room with your hamster that's very, very, very vulnerable. But, you know, silly me for expecting the bare minimum from this woman. It, you know, I'm like, I hope it doesn't become a problem. She doesn't... I don't think she likes the door being closed and me coming in here and paying attention to him. So one time that she was outside and I was in here, she like pooped right up front of the door. Oh, girl, Julia, go do it again. Do it everywhere. Piss on everything that they have. Claw everything that they own. <laughs> Is that petty? I mean, yes, but do I regret it? Absolutely not, girl. Julia, make their lives hell, Julia. Girl. She's doing the most, and I love that for her the most. The most loving cat. And if you just like, you can, she's like a rag doll. Like, you can just grab her and, and hold her and just like. Okay, well, we will see here pretty soon that that's definitely not the case because that poor cat was looked mortified when she was like manhandling her, like I said. And like, oh, God. She's, she's very hyper sometimes because she's just a kitten, right? So I have to make sure to play with her. I looked at that cat. I'm no pet expert or cat expert by any means, but she looks a lot older than, like, kitten. She's... I, w I wouldn't say that she's an adult, if not a little bit older, because she, she does not look like, oh, my God, look how young this cat is. It's, I'm not sure if... Maybe it's the kind of, you know, breed of the cat is or something, but it just, it, she does not look young by any means, to me at least, <laughs> you know, my, my opinion. Her a lot with her feather toy and like, I have to like daily scoop out toys under the couch because she always gets them lost in there. G girl, good. Julia, make their lives hell. <laughs> Sometimes if I open a bottle of water, like the cat, I'll just throw it. Like, hey, here's another toy that's not under the couch right now because... And she just loves it. Isn't that a choking hazard? I would think that First that's a choking phobia. hazard. Getting a hair transplant? Where? In Turkey? <laughs> You've always wanted to try that, Henna? Thank you! Yeah. It's really cool. I'm glad I tried it out. Maybe next time I get it, um, I'll just get the... Uh... It's like having a tattoo. Like, it's a really cool, like, looks like a really cool tribal tattoo or something. I don't know, when I was watching her do it, and it didn't take long at all. She's just like, shh, 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 you know? <clears throat> the kitty's in another room while I'm smoking. 
Yeah, like when I had the other cats, like we had that big litter box upstairs and then we had another one downstairs. And because I was thinking like BBJ's old, like what if she can't make it? Like she's had accidents a lot <clears throat> because you know, like mostly starting when she got older. Other than that, she was like a good cat her whole life, you know? And Sam, no problems, but. Wow, it's like older cats need to go to the vet sometimes or something. Wow, just a crazy concept. Some people don't put leashes on their dogs. Oh, to go out? You had a Nashi? The zoo is here. Wait, Nashis are available right now in Canada? I'm missing out. No. The only Nashis I find here have coleslaw in them. Like, Burger King is the only Nashi I like. Yeah, I'm going live. Oh, the Nashis are available in Florida. <gasps> I might have to go try it. I thought they had that. I honestly thought that they were like a, a Canadian exclusive because I remember looking and being like, oh, nope, this is only available in Canada. Hold on. This is very important information here. Okay, so I did some research. I can't find anything, but then again, I can't like pretend to order something because apparently Burger King's closed. I thought that I thought that they were like McDonald's and they were open 24-7 and I could be wrong about that, but you know, uh, it's currently like almost four o'clock in the morning. So that might be why. <laughs> I told you guys, my sleep schedule's really bad. A little earlier today because it's like 10.30 here. And we're kind of tired. I don't know if you can tell, but <laughs> I'm a little sleepy. So I don't know how long I'll be on, but I wanted to say, hey, because I missed you guys. Like if I don't feel like, if I don't go live for a little while, I feel weird. Like, oh my God, I missed you guys, you know? I can't believe they have the, the Nashi in Florida. What the hell? It's so weird. It's quarter after 11 here already. That's crazy. <coughs> As you can see, I haven't been able to quit Shisha. And I don't think I did, I didn't do a, I didn't do a good mukbang today, so I'm not gonna put it out. It was kind of boring. Are your other ones that good? I would hate to see that one if, if, if she herself and she thinks that her mukbangs are just like the God's gift, like God's gift from Earth. How can it be any worse? I'm being honest about that. Like, how can it be any worse than what she's already put out normally? Ugh. I don't know. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. We'll see. Let me check. Okay, so it must have been that bad. And nope, she did not put it out. I think. Sorry for always adjusting this. These chiffon ones, I can never, I love how they look the most, but I can never fix them properly. They never stay in place. Even if I like put them here under my chin. See? <laughs> Girl, which one? So I had to. You, you, you can't offer a joke like that and expect me not to say something. Can you get lavender to smoke, relax you? I don't know. Can you get lavender shisha, babe? I think it's only fruit flavors, but I'm not really sure. The water looks good. Yeah. These are the water towers in Kuwait. <laughs> yeah, I just drink a lot of water. Like this is the water bottle water we drink. We buy like our whole wall is like full of like water bottles. <clears throat> Even if we have a filter, it's like the water in Kuwait in the summer. Like I wanted to have a coldish shower, right? I put the water on the coldest setting. It was hot, like I couldn't even shower, it was that hot. It was like so hot, I had to wait till evening time to have a shower because the water cools down in the evening. But in the daytime, if you want to shower, be prepared for the hottest water. It's so hot. Wow, it's like when it's cold, it's cool. And when it, the sun's out, the thing that literally, you know, powers our earth and gives sunlight to the plants to live, it's hot. Like the, 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 the billions or millions, thousands, you know, degree sun in the sky makes things warm guys wow wow just science science it was like it felt like 45 degrees today so 113 you're welcome oh but the ac in the new car is really nice mashallah and um we had like a slush today but i'm not sure about the lavender golden girl good question um, what did I have for dinner? <clears throat> Actually, I ate KFC because I was craving it. And they have this new flavor of, like, chicken. It's, like, flaming Hot Lays. And they have chicken tenders. And I had these twisters. And 
you know, I tried to mukbang, but I was just like in one of those moods where I'm like, why does it look like I'm wearing shoulder pads? What the heck? Does it look like I'm wearing shoulder pads? Um, excuse me. Just like a really tired, hot, not in a really talkative mood, kind of like I am now. <laughs> so but I'm like, I should probably do a live stream, you know, I don't know. I, I really just, yeah, I wasn't really in the mood. So I was just like eating kind of quietly. And I think most people, um, what was I going to say? Like, like conversation with my videos, you know what I mean? What month does it start getting the hottest? Um, I don't know, babe, what, what, like month, like April? No, the hottest actually, probably like June, July. Like <laughs> it's going to be like now, but it's going to get like, I think even hotter. So. <laughs> Love that for you. Why he jumps his face? Neck as big as FFG, LMEO. Not even close. <laughs> Sorry, but it's true. This is like, this is material all bunched up, by the way. But yeah, I have a double chin. Yeah, and a triple and close to a quadruple girl. Just be... She's acting like this. Hold on, like right here. I why can't you guys see my my? Okay, anyways, like she thinks that is what her face is, and then uh, that it's just it goes straight to her throat. No, girl, you might be delusional, but we have you have people like me to remind you that that's not all your chins you have. <laughs> <coughs> July, August, September. Um, September too. Oh great! So we have. So here it's like reverse. Oh, thank God! I'm so happy. And guess what month my uh, birthday happens to be in? <laughs> September. So I am going to have the best birthday month of my life this year, especially since my birthday is way later in the month. So <laughs> we living it up this year. Woo! First in Canada, the longest season is winter, and here is summer. Thanks, Golden Girl. <laughs> Thank you. Remember this lip gloss? It's the... You guys remember when I went to buy this? The Estee Lauder one? <laughs> we'll be 50 to 60. Does it hit 60 like every summer? Oh my god. I can't imagine. Like, I, I have to go outside, even for just a minute, to experience what 60 degree weather is like. And we have to do like a test. like. I want to do that fried egg test. We have to put an egg on the pavement and see if it fries. <laughs> but, you know, I can go peek my head out, come right back in the building because the building is well air conditioned, like even downstairs in the lobby. <sighs> I don't know where people get this idea that we don't, we don't have AC. It's not like, it's not a third world country. <laughs> um, there's AC everywhere. And actually there's like, no, no, no. It's not the question of if you guys have AC or not. The question is, is the AC good enough to make you feel comfortable? I highly doubt it because you're morbidly obese. The, the bigger you are, the hotter you get easily, right? I've, you know, I've been heavier. I'm not going to lie. So I know that the bigger you are, the, the hotter that you're going to be just existing. And I could not imagine being like either 400, 500, however, however big she is, especially because she's really short. She's like, what is it? I, I can't remember if she or Amber is 5'1", because one of them is 5'1", one, one of them is 5'3". I think Amber might be the 5'3". So just... And I'm pretty av. I'm like five nine. I'm really average. No, no, got nowhere near Chantal's size. Just for to clarify, but I could not imagine being that short and that compressed and having all of your fat being surrounding your body like that. And you're just like a little mini hot box at that point. Oh, that does not sound fun at all. Um, I don't know. Like people put charity water tanks all over the town. Like different parts of each city so so like you can have clean drinking water and then there's like tunnels with like ac so people can have a break and walk through the tunnels instead of being outside so there's like a lot of refuge is it ref respite refuge i don't know what word i'm looking for there's a lot of like you get a break from the sun if you even just going into malls like all the malls are very well air conditioned um so 
I would not be able to, yeah, that's hot. I would not be able to survive here without AC. Even Salah. You will test it and it will be grilled. I need to mention this because I I was curious. I was like, I, I wonder what like the mall in Kuwait looks like. It is gorgeous. If you guys have any sort of free time, look up like... I, I don't know if it's like a certain mall or if it's like the main mall, but it's like massive. It's massive and it has like these really beautiful white architectures at the very top. It's multi-level. And like my <laughs> my mall doesn't even have any sort of food court. We have like a like a restaurant, but it's not like a food court type thing at all. It's mind boggling how it, they, they can have multiple layers <laughs> and then at the very top have this it's breathtaking. I'm like, why are we not going to see this Chantal? It's literally like the most beautiful, gorgeous, it's mesmerizing. I was just like, oh my god, is this what the shopping is here is like? It Out of this world, highly recommend you guys uh, try to find it if you guys can. Remember one morning, we're, one morning we woke up and he opens the curtain. So we do this every morning, like, mashallah, I have to say it. We, we open the windows. And we see the the beautiful ocean view, and I'm like, one time I was like, hey, let's go out, and he was like, if you go out at this time, you will be chicken on coal. <laughs> so we have to wait until a certain time, like after four, four thirty. I'll melt like cheese. I wonder if I put cheese out if it will melt. Hi Anastasia, sunblock will be useful. Yeah, I need to get some, babe. True. Creepy comfort and crime. Oh, I just seen you. I just saw you. Ready to be? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the very important beezers. <laughs> Thanks for becoming a beezer. Yeah. And I don't think that I'll be experiencing a winter, you know, not knock on wood, for like the next long while. So I don't know when I'll go back to Canada for a visit. But if I do go back, I'll be like a tourist, right? Because I don't have a place there anymore. So. Well, it'll be weird. Be like a, a Canada tourist. Cheese melted. Meshulted. You wanna watch a horror movie, babe? I don't know, I might fall asleep, but that's okay. What's a good horror movie from like the 2000s? That we have? I don't know, we, we tried finding the ring, but we couldn't. Oh, Escape Room 1 and 2. Oh. Those are good movies. There's escape rooms here, but they're expensive. I tried it several times to fry an egg here in Kuwait and it was successful. Really? No way. You just leave the egg there after and like animals will eat it, eh? When I lived in Vegas when I was in high school, I fried an egg in the street. No way! It gets hot like that in the There's like, are there some states where it gets super hot, like Texas, eh, in Vegas? I guess Death Valley is one of the hottest places. Is Kuwait hotter than Death Valley? Wait, I'm sorry, did she just- I know she's not from America, so, you know, just like, you know, the province of Canada, but she, does she think that Vegas is a, uh, it's a state? Oh, dear Chantal, Chantal. I'm happy to not see winter in Canada again. <laughs> yeah, that's true, you leave, eh, for the winter? That's smart. That's what- yeah, my- I have family members who do that. Anna, hi! Dream. Insidious is good. He watched... I don't think he liked Insidious. I don't know why. He likes more gro gross movies. Well, that's disturbing. We watched a really gross zombie movie called Yummy. Oh my god. But it was a pretty good movie, I guess. But it's just like one of those movies I'd only watch once. Don't ask me about scary chicken emoji. <laughs> I can't believe the last horror movie we watched was The Exorcist. And it was like in the 70s. That's so long ago. It gets really hot in Vegas. Really? Like over a hundred? The Descent. Oh! Is that about a monster? I'm Chucky. You wanna... Hi, I'm Chucky. You wanna play? No, Chucky. I wanna burn you in fire and lava. Seriously, I would drive and throw him in a volcano. And then you go home, and he's on your bed all burnt. <laughs> I'm waiting to murder you. God. The Descent. I, know, I think I watched it a long time ago. You know what's really creepy? <laughs> hey, the catacombs, like stories about the catacombs freak me out. Like all those tunnels under Paris. Imagine getting lost in there, you'd be dead. You slept with your parents. <laughs> How old were you? 
I used to get scared and sleep with my mom too. She would always be like, come on now, there's nothing. You know, your parents get annoyed. No wonder they probably want to break from us. I don't blame them. <laughs> it's about the group of girls in a cave. Ah. But there's like a monster, right? I think. <laughs> Should I tell the tank engine? Oh my god, that is my favorite picture. Can you send it to me by email so I can laugh? Oh my god, I feel like <laughs> the crypt. Oh, I got. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, look at the picture. <laughs> oh my god, that made my day. <coughs> my potato face. Choo choo. That, you know what? Thomas the Tank Engine used to be my one of my favorite shows as a kid. And Babar. Potatoes. <laughs> oh my god. We live in like 15. Oh. I live in Central California and it can get to 112? Ew. <laughs> that's hot. We'll watch Descent movie. Okay, that, I think that's, I saw that movie. <sighs> Cassie! <laughs> oh my god, I need to quit smoking. I can't even laugh now. Oh my god, that's so funny. No, that's 100% true. You're struggling to even breathe at this point. You, <laughs> you can't even laugh without going... <laughs> <laughs> Girl, come on. Right, that's a perfect picture. I love that. I don't know if that was meant to be hate, but it made me laugh, so... I like my magnet. <coughs> I found one of my abayas. That's been missing. It was in the suitcase we haven't unpacked yet. <laughs> I keep forgetting to unpack this one suitcase. Finally did it. How long was that sitting there for, though? You moved houses, and you didn't even unpack the suitcase? Until after you move into your new apartment? Girl, come on. I, I don't know why I'm so shocked, but you know. It's Chantal. It's just one surprise after the next. You know, the hardest part of um, putting together your home is organizing. Uh, like, finding like nice containers and all this stuff. I got... Um, these nice little baskets, little baskets to put under the TV so we can put all our stuff in there. You know, like watches and stuff like that. Chargers. And especially if we have to cap proof the home. So like every, like even this. I'm not going to put it, take it off and I'm not going to put it somewhere because the cat will lose it. Remember I used to have that problem with the Beezer cats I had with, um, with Sam and BBJ with my earrings? I would always only have one. <laughs> yeah, hi Cassie. Did you uh, forget your biscuit again? Yeah, thank God my family's okay now, but uh, you know I'm kind of worried. Like, I don't know, the fires are getting bad, eh? Did she not like contact them to make sure if they were okay? If it was that much of a concern, or if they were that nearby? Good job, Chantal. Did you see what New York looked like yesterday from the smoke? No, I have to look all this up. I guess I've just been really self-absorbed. <laughs> I haven't really been paying attention. You? Self- No. The Queen of Cornwall herself being self-absorbed. I have never heard such treachery and slander in my life. That is just straight up not true. How dare she not include the alleged animal abusing allegations on top of being self-absorbed. That is just... Cannot believe that she forgot that little detail in that. Wow. But, yeah. Are there wildfires like every year in California? Or like the wildfires just like, remember how bad they were in Australia a couple of years ago, a few years ago? Yeah, that was before the Panini happened and and everyone thought like, oh my God, can it get any worse? No, nope, just wait a few months. Just wait a few months. I had a lot of Beezers and viewers then in Australia I was worried about. There's a lot of school and outside activities canceled. Oh, wow. That's bad. I'm sure the kids love that. Hi, Flax! Hey! Long time no see. I missed you guys. You know, I used to pray for some kind of natural disaster when I was in school years. Anything to get out of going. You know, like, are you sure the buses are not canceled today? <laughs> You're still going. I'm getting grip like before my mom had a car. I'm getting grip to drive you. 
Yeah, I saw that she would pray for natural disaster, which I'm hoping, I'm hoping. Let's all, I mean, probably not, but in like in my perfect world, in my little brain, in my little fantasy land, she means that either maybe like a, like a power fuse blew somewhere in the school and there was no power at the either in her city or at her school or maybe it was like a snow day so she had to stay home i'm that again probably not the case and she probably means something a lot worse allegedly but in my little brain it's going to be like the super minimum tiny things there's like oh no school doesn't have power i guess we have to stay home today oops we can only hope we can only hope no i don't want to go to school <laughs> I used to pray for any illness. I know it's bad, but any cold. Yeah, girl, that is, that's terrible. God. Cold, any flu. You know, I, I even remember like being in class with some kid who would be sneezing and you could tell they're getting sick. And I'd be like, you know, they'd be like, okay, pick a partner for your, for your uh, project. Okay, I want to go with the sick kid so I can catch his flu so I don't, I can miss school. <laughs> uh, anything. I hate it. I hate it going. I hate it getting up in the morning since I was born. I was even late coming out of the womb. Like, my mom had to have a C-section. I didn't want to come out. I was late. I was supposed to come out. When was I supposed to be born? I think the 26th. <gasps> well, thank God you weren't. Because that is my day, ma'am. God, God, God help me if... if <laughs> not to say a month, but still, even anything remotely close to that. No. No, no, no. <laughs> <clears throat> Kelly's pretty bad, but... Been cool like a cucumber, really. How much snow? Oh, it has to be like thirty centimeters or more for them to cancel school. Well, it has to be a lot. <sighs> oh, the fires in Nova Scotia. <laughs> the other options of school was wishing for a disaster. Yeah, I was like, please give me the flu. Everyone's getting the flu but me. I swear, it must have been the papaya juice my mom used to give me in my lunches. I hated papaya juice. I don't think I ever told her and just suffered in silence. A lot of vitamin C. <laughs> Give me the Capri Sun. It's very smoky where I am in Northern Ontario. Jeez, lemon mint cough. Hey, where were you? I've already been, I've already been coughing. What the fuck? <laughs> I swear, I hated going to school. Like, honestly, whenever like my mom would check and I had a fever, I was like, yes, because like when you're young, you think you're immortal. You don't care if you have a cold. You know what I mean? You don't care if you have a fever. You're like, whatever, I can survive this. Now, well, now I worry a bit. <laughs> you know? I was born at, uh, yeah, warmly. I have a dark sense of humor. <laughs> I was born at 4.30 in the morning. I blame that on being at a night owl. Yeah, I was born just after midnight. Explains a lot. <laughs> Julia's so cute. How is she? I know everyone is going through it, but I'm going through it only. Oh, we're always sending you positive energy blocks. Hope you're okay. What's up? You can share with us. <laughs> um... <clears throat> Early morning babies or babies born between 4 a.m. and 8 a.m. grow up to be persistent. They are generally intelligent and always prepared for different situations they might face. Wow, do you know what time you were born, babe? That I'm not in that category at all. So I was born... <laughs> what? Who has a dark web passport? What the heck? I'm so out of the loop. Oh, what did Golden say? Oh, Southern Ontario. It is really widespread. Yeah, that's what I heard. But I didn't know how bad. Oh my gosh. It's your husband's birthday? Happy birthday! Zero support? That can be tough. We're here for you. Honestly, like, I like to bees in, like, it, it, why not? We're all humans. We all go through hard things. Even though we're on the internet, doesn't mean that we can't share and, you know, be here for each other. You don't even have to explain what's going on. All you need to say is you have, you're having a hard time, you know? To be born during business hours. <laughs> You're like, I'm not being born during business hours, Ma. You gotta make those bucks. <laughs> oh, okay. Since you've had a date. Uh, are you like the type that doesn't... You know what? Getting a babysitter is not that easy. I know. I remember my mom trying to get a babysitter. Sometimes for me it was hard. And... The babysitters I was left with sometimes. Remember I told you my story times about one babysitter, Beth? Ew. Yeah. I had some bad babysitters. <laughs> I always tattled on them and never had to see them again though. So that was good. But yeah, it's not as easy. 
okay, but were they bad babysitters or would they not let you do everything that you wanted to do and set, you know, super basic guidelines, I'm sure, about what you could, couldn't do. Uh, your mom told them, you know, do this, this, and this, and you wouldn't listen, so they suffered because you wouldn't probably, you know, allegedly couldn't uh, or wouldn't uh, follow through and listen to the babysitter, so you complained about them. I'm, I mean, I even hate to assume that, but knowing Chantal, it sounds right up her alley. You know, it's not as easy as that. <clears throat> what? People are displaced? Oh my god. Well, Canada's really big. There's a lot of places to go, but not if the fire's spreading that far. That's crazy. I really hope that everything, people stay safe and everything goes well. We have two kids and one special needs so hard. I just need a flipping couple of hours sometimes. I just don't get that. I love my girls, but I hope no one takes that out of... Yeah. Hey, that's totally understandable. It's very overwhelming, you know? You do your best, but you get burnt out. Like, caregiver burnout is a real thing. And actually, when I worked in healthcare, we used to have a lot of people who would go into homes just to help with respite for people who were burnt out, you know? So at least you recognize that. Maybe there's some kind of, like, organization like that, you know? Tracy, 18 months, oh my gosh. Hi, Tracy. I'm glad to see all you beezers here. <clears throat> These stats are not accurate, but we have to say it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, babe. You set her hair on fire? Oh my gosh, that's criminal. <laughs> Did you go in a group home after that? I'm so protective too, so that doesn't help. Uh, you just don't let anyone go in. Yeah. I understand that. You know, you're leaving like loved ones in the care of strangers. So it's hard. Hello, Tracy. Oh, that's sweet, babe. May Allah be with your side and bless you. Sweets. Parenting is hard. Yeah, like, you know, I couldn't even imagine. I'm having, a, you know, like, being a pet mom is challenging sometimes. <laughs> Honestly, I couldn't imagine because... Some universities provide daycare at affordable rates. That's true. My university had a daycare. <sighs> Excuse me. Um, I'm glad I never had to visit. Now, something about daycares creeped me out. I remember being in daycare. Like, I remember the smell of, like, old microwave dinners. The cots. The cots that we had to take naps on. I had to go to a daycare after school. And they made us have a nap. And every, every, every class I went to as a young kid, there was always a kid who pukes. I don't know why, but there's always a pukey kid. Sometimes I was a pukey kid on the bus. And then... They always made us play with this, like, water and cornstarch mixture. <laughs> I hate daycare. Ugh, I'm glad I'm not. I mean, isn't that kind of funny, though, how Amber and Feline were literally just playing with cornstarch and water, like, a few days ago? Hold on. I have them muted, but, like, what are the odds? I don't know if that's supposed to be a dig or not, but funny regardless. Adult. As much as as much as life can be crap when you're an adult, I don't miss being a child. Hi Katie. She lost a few strands. Thank you guys, just need to vent. Hey, you're in the right place. The hen is not itchy, like thank goodness, you know? Cause I did look it up and apparently people have more issues with the block, which I didn't know. But they made me sign a waiver and I was wondering why. But now I know. <laughs> Allergies. But, oh, thank goodness. Yeah. I love being a mom, but it can sure be hard. Not having any... Yeah, not having any support is definitely tough, for sure. Thanks, Lux. Yeah, permanent is harder, for sure. I'll have to replay later. Yeah, I've been on for about 47 minutes. I'm latchkey, luckily. What's latchkey? Hey, Chloe Tabor. Am I saying that right? Welcome, welcome. Where do you say peace? Hello. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, Ali's a new beezer. I missed the economy when I was a child. Now I'm working everything. Yes, you're right. The economy was, a... and it seemed people back then, like in the '80s. You know, I'm from the. Oh, I was born in the '80s. <clears throat> so old. Oh my gosh. <sighs> everything was different. You're right. Like people had like, you know, were able to sustain a life with jobs. You know, like I don't know. The quality of things just seemed better. I don't know how to explain it. Like, even, I don't know. Maybe I'm not remembering that right. Whenever you're a kid, everything is just like, the world is like mysterious. Now, when you start learning everything about it, it's like, hmm, you know. 
well, before I became like religious, there was a huge period of time where everything just felt hopeless and meaningless. And I was like atheist for a point, And I was like, what the heck is the point of this? You know, it's so mundane and tedious and, you know, and now it's not like that. Wine and grapes company. <clears throat> yeah, bringing up children because you're always having to dedicate all of your time to them. Like you're responsible for the bringing up of a whole human. Like that just terrifies me. Like even having a cat. Hi, Mickey. Jack, hi. Hi, Beezers. A sommelier, that's what it's called. No I mean, were you so terrified that you couldn't take your poor elderly cat to the vet? Though? Was it, was it that terrifying? Yeah? No? Okay. Nice, that's interesting. <laughs> but if uh, you can, you, you're strong. You seem very strong, Blacks. So if anyone can do it, it's you. I don't believe God gives us anything more than we can handle. And honestly, even though it tests our limits, like, I don't know if people just think everything is just going to be sunshine and rainbows all the time. Like, life is, how can we be tested as people if we don't go through hard things, you know? So it's just. Okay, I'm just going to skip forward just a little bit because I don't want to hear preachy Chantal, especially after this last stunt she decided to pull. No, I don't go to therapy here. Therapy is ridiculously expensive here. Ridiculous. Well, girl, everything else is so cheap and the food's so cheap and living is so cheap. I, I don't, I think that you could probably, you know, fit in your budget somewhere, you know. Maybe you take out a few mukbangs per month. You should be able to fit it in, you know, allegedly. I hate to assume, but you know. Mm-hmm. Like, I think, well, from what research I did, it's like very, very expensive, like very. But not just that, um, it's i guess i just cope with like learning like a, watching a lot of videos reading a lot about emotional intelligence coping techniques like this social media can be very useful for educational things like that oh yeah because that's really helped in your many years and in, in your many months here recently that's really just done the trick hasn't it chantal <laughs> please Oh my god, she's acting like she's some sort of professor, and oh my god, I, guys, I'm reading theses, and I'm reading books from the library, and that goes really deep, and about just, but then she just called Vegas Estate, so. Yep, this is where we're at in the story, and I, I honestly, God, don't know how to react at this point, because this is just so stupid. Um, also, I, you know, pray a lot, and turn to my faith, read the Quran, and just, I don't know, I feel like I've matured a little bit in that way, you know? An online therapist? That's like, yeah, I keep forgetting about that. God, don't use better help. You're welcome. I don't know from personal experience, but I literally just saw a TikTok, you know, off topic, of course, but I saw a TikTok where they took all of her money and she didn't even get matched with a therapist, yada, yada, yada. I've heard really bad things. There was that scandal when they first started back in the day, like in 2018, 2019, it, there was a big scandal about that. So uh, just be careful, okay? Thanks. Move a TV. Oh my gosh, I must be strong. I think one therapist I checked was like 500 KD. That's like $2,000. Unless I got that wrong. Maybe it was $500. I don't know. <clears throat> Definitely that too. When, I, when it piles on, it just gets a lot. It does. Yeah. Health issues. It just piles on. Yeah. It seems insufferable. So like uh, insurmountable sometimes. Content over meditation. Or how you cope with negativity. That's a good idea. Thanks, Jack. Thanks guys for noticing. You used to be a gamer? What's your favorite all time? I don't know if I'm in Mint. I'm going to check it out again, actually, and see. Because it was a while ago I checked. I don't even know if I have it right. <laughs> but I remember it being expensive. A lot more than Canada. Korean pizza? What's on that? Yeah, I'd have to check. <coughs> the Korean pizza. <laughs> I've never heard of that. I've heard of sushi pizza. That sounds gross to me. Has anyone had sushi pizza? Reading the Bible? Yeah, whatever reading whatever religious text that you follow can be very calming, yeah. Even just like when you're praying, it's like calming. Resident Evil 2, I'm sorry. 
Oh, another Resident Evil fan. So all your favorite is Resident Evil 4, right? Because you love Ashley so much. <laughs> I really wonder who Slot prefers, her or Ashley. <laughs> You guys have ever played Resident Evil 4 or probably the remake. I haven't played the remake yet, but uh, I wonder which one uh, he he prefers. I'm assuming uh, it's probably not the woman in the white hijab, but, you know, I could be wrong. Sushi burritos? Whoa. You can't take care of others with an empty cup. That's true. Yeah, that's why they say you have to take care of yourself first. But I mean, how realistic is that? It's so hard to do, you know, to find time for yourself when it's just constantly like, you know. Chantal, here's the wild thing, okay? People put in effort and can't have a full cup. They might only have a few drops left if and sometimes they're empty. But people manage, people push through, people, in the better lack of words, struggle. A lot of the times, just to meet ends meet. I don't know why you don't know that, but you know. Oh, welcome to Shantopolis where nothing makes sense. And woo, glitter. <laughs> oh, really, Chloe? Oh, you were Mormon. Um, no, I don't drink anymore. Um, any kind of um, mind altering substance, you know, is, is like forbidden in, in Islam. But um, CBD is, is okay though, because it's not like mind altering. But drinking is definitely. CBD is legal in Canada? No, no, sorry, not. So CBD is legal in Kuwait? Hold one. Cannabis in Kuwait is illegal for all purposes and possession of even the small amounts of the drug is a criminal offense and can result in hefty prison time and significant fines. So, let me I'm, let me go back and rewatch that real quick because I just want to make sure I heard that right the first time. Okay. Since you know is is oh, really Chloe? Oh, you were Mormon. Um, no, I don't drink anymore. Um, any kind of um, mind altering substance, you know, is is like forbidden in, in Islam. But um, CBD is is okay though. Because it's not like mind altering, but drinking is definitely drinking is like illegal here. You won't find you won't find out anything. Hi, post editing me here. Of course, I was not recording audio when I was filming this, but this reads: CBD is halal and is a non-intoxicating substance. So, where where would it be legal for her to do CBD while practicing Islam? Any guesses? Oh, that's right. Canada. <laughs> you read into her and she just really tells on herself. Anyways, back to when I was watching this. <laughs> legal alcohol here. I don't know about illegal. I don't know anything about that. But you won't find any legal alcohol here. You know? Oh my god. What do you do all day? Well, it depends on the day, lemon mint. I mean, like a regular domestic day? Is that what you mean? Because it just depends, you know? Like, I, I'm planning on doing some day in the life of videos maybe you know but uh, you know it just depends depends on the day um regular domestic stuff most days you know taking care of the pet the pets keep me busy um you know cleaning just stuff like that <laughs> doing videos talking to family we go out sometimes go run errands go get coffee go get dinner whatever go to the movies stuff like that yeah, I really haven't, can't believe I haven't come up with merch yet. Hey, babe. Hi, baby. <coughs> Got a chocolate for you, baby. Oh! I mean, at least I don't have to actually have to censor him out. Like, less work for me. Thanks, Law. <laughs> if you could just keep doing that for the entire existence that you are on her channel, that would be amazing. And thank you so much. Thank you. I also wonder why he's so nervous or all of a sudden wearing that mask. Is oh so are you ashamed to be on camera with her? Is that is that why? Oh, was sad. Did you give me a creepy chocolate? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, buddy. I miss you. 
You're so handsome. Oh. <laughs> I love masks. Thank you, honey. I think it looks like his okay. eye. I hate them all. I'm kidding. We were out, actually, we were out shopping and he's like, what do you think of this mask? <laughs> there was like a store with all masks in it. This is a milk. Have you ever had these? They're good. Let me try. I'm not really hungry. I had too much to eat. But. Hmm. Hmm. I picture T and Sass going, my god, she's a pig. <laughs> Nobody, including myself, I'm I'm sure, is thinking that you're a pig in this instance for eating one singular, like piece of candy. Girl, we we don't like you for everything other than your weight. We don't care if you're you know overweight, morbidly obese, fat, whatever it is. It's the person that's behind the camera filming it. It's the personality. It's that thing underneath the hijab the the thing called your mind and your personality and your personal traits and everything else we're, we don't like that it's not because of your eating habits and if you want to eat a piece of candy or not her and amber really just do think that we don't like them because of the fact that they're morbidly obese and slash or fat you know however that you want to categorize it no <laughs> sorry girlies no that's not why we don't like you <laughs> Simmer down, simmer down. <laughs> no, I'm thirsty. I go through like two of these a day. It's not diabetes. But that's definitely one of the symptoms, just letting you know. But like, I'm also... <laughs> I hate to say this, but I'm also like this. I can just put away massive amounts of, uh, of liquid during the day. It's very, I've been like this since I was very, very young. <laughs> I don't know why, but, mm. Also, nothing to do with the video has, you know, nothing. But today I went out and I got a knockoff of a Stanley Cup. If you guys haven't heard, like, all the craze about these Stanley Cups, Stanley Cups, oh my god, oh my god. But then I saw on TikTok, I think, where they were selling Stanley Cup dupes at five below. And it was, like, even though it's like, it came out as like five ninety nine, you know, whatever. I was like, you know what, fine, I'll try one. I, this is my first night with it and I love it. Um, I got the white color because they didn't have the pink naturally. Because, you know, of course, they wouldn't have my favorite color, but see how, uh, it's a, f oh, 40 fluid ounce tumbler. Highly recommend. I highly, highly recommend. If you're, if you're wanting something that's big, that has a handle, that has a big handle, not like any, any cup that I've had that has this, that has a handle, you know. I don't have really big hands, but like my fingers can't slip through it and I can't grip it. You can only get like two and a half fingers, three fingers in if you're really lucky. No, I could fit all four and there's room and it's, I can almost like fit my whole entire hand in it and, and wear it as a bracelet. It's bizarre and I absolutely love it. So highly recommend it. Highly, highly recommend. I've been meaning to like bring that up because I'm so excited. I've been drinking out of it this entire time and my water's almost gone. <laughs> Anyways. I should do a review of Kuwait snacks? Yeah. Because they do have a lot of different ones. Like, you've seen some of them in my grocery hauls. You know, the Pop Pops. They have a lot of, like, a lot of things. A lot of things are flavored with za'atar. You guys know what that is? <laughs> no, can you clarify, please? No? I gotta move my coals around. <clears throat> Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, just a little warning. Julia, aka her new cat, is going to appear. This is the clip that I saw. And unless if it's anything like this, anything where it's like, oh my god, I'm not going to feature Julia at all. If it's not worthy, I, I will make sure to either cut out the clips or censor her like I mentioned before but 
the way that she handles this cat, it's mortifying. Mortifying. To me, at least. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Julia's Hi. here. Hi. Hi, baby. Oh, oh she doesn't want to be held right now. <laughs> Hi, honey. <laughs> she looks like church. <laughs> Hi. Oh, baby. Oh, she's so cute, and I hate that of all people to get her this human has her ugh it breaks my heart it's gonna be colder better okay honey it's okay it's okay it's okay <laughs> she might be scared you're mad she's purring Orally. oh hi baby girl <laughs> hi sweetie oh you sweet girl Claw him, claw him. <laughs> and also notice how she jumped. She did not let Slob pick her up at all. She's like, mm, nope, I don't want to be here at all. That poor cat. Anyway, continuing on. <laughs> poor girl. Okay. Yep, yep. Poor girl, girl, you're the one that put her in that situation to begin with. Oh, say bye. Say bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> oh like my god. Put the poor thing down. She doesn't want to be there. Let her live her life. Julia, piss on everything that they've got. Do it. Do it. What's going on? <laughs> Julia! I, I sing to her. You know the song? Um. I really don't care what song you sing your cat. <laughs> it looks like a wobbly chin. Good appetite on her. She's so small. I think Kayla loves those. It's good nutrient stuff. Look what oh. we have here. Happy. Oh, okay. Nope. 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 I'm gonna tease him now. Are you a rat? Or are you a mouse? Or are you a hamster? I always say that to him. Um. Instead of he doesn't like that it moves. He doesn't like that it moves. So he went out of his way to move the hay. All the hay I took the trouble of mo moving out for him. He put it all back to, so that the wheel would be stationary because he likes to sit in the wheel and clean his bum. So he likes to have a, a clean bum cleaning station, and it has to be stationary. He's got his own little like hamster rat personality. He likes to go to the bathroom in one. Wow, it's like pets have feelings and emotions and personalities and their own way of doing things and their own preferences. Chantal, wow, I me as a person, I have never known that in my entire life, in my entire nearly thirty years on this earth, I've never noticed that pets have feelings and emotions. Wow. One corner. Um, he chews his wood. He loves his corn. Okay, that's great. Anyways. Smoke. But, do I have my shisha finish? Yes, I would be empty. I think it's finished. Thank God. Um, other than that, every day, like twice a day. First, I come in, replenish his, like, spot clean. Okay, great. Anyways, anything else to note? I just sit at the gaming station and just watch videos or whatever. It's preferable if Julia's asleep because she gets very territorial and um maybe next stream I'll try to think of something fun to do. I like just coming on here and just chatting though. 